All right, YouTube, what you're saying? I hope you're all all right. I've had a few people come up to me uh, or message me saying they want a tutorial where I've just got no editing, so I'm just make a beat from scratch and um, show you how it's done, talk through it fully, so you can understand the process a bit more. So I'm going to be using StockFL plugins, except from one plugin, the Cobb, which is the Korg M1, but you can just use any organ um, that sounds similar to the Korg M1 organ. If you do want to check out the Korg M1, it's 100 quid. I'll put a link in the description of the video. It's definitely worth getting, probably the best plugin I've ever bought. I'll be using some vocals off a website called Splice, which I'll also link in the description. The best website that you can get for your samples, your vocals, basses, um, presets, MIDI presets, serum presets, everything like that. It's such a good website. It does cost uh, £13 or something a month, but it's definitely worth it. There is other alternatives to Splice, such as Tracklib. I mean, even you can go on the internet and use a AI vocal thing and make your own vocals up, something like that for free. So yeah, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, I might make a part two of this video, depending on how much love the video gets. So yeah, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to do them two things. Yeah, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so starting off, I always find a vocal. So I'm just going to go into my files, I've already got some vocals um, that I want to use. So it's this vocal here, and this vocal. So just drag them in like that um, to your door. They'll automatically come up here um, to the audio clip section of FL Studio. So that's what we want to do is we want to set the BPM. So the BPM for these up here, it already says for me, which is 125. But if it doesn't say on your vocal, all you need to do is just click up here and detect tempo and choose where it is about. This says it's 125, which is, so that's correct. Um, so yeah, then we want to work out the key of our vocal. So mine says G minor here, but if you don't know the key, just click up here on the left and then click edit sample and it'll bring up this Edison. All you need to do is right click and then click regions, detect pitch regions and then go in you can see it says G here and um, G is the most common one so it's going to be in the key of G. Uh, next thing I do is obviously fit to the BPM so obviously this is 125 I'm going to take it down. Just like that. Now you can see it lines up perfectly. This one, just ignore this one for now. This one lines up perfectly with the lines. These are called bars. So this is one bar, two bar, three bar, four bar. This all counts as a uh, four bar. So if you hear that, it's going to go 16 times. So one of these, obviously, four, which is going to go four, eight, 12, 16. So I'll put this metronome on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's crucial to know. It's music theory. Um, it's pretty simple music theory. That's pretty crucial to know if you want to start making them um, your music, want to start hearing your music. I don't even know what I'm going on the world, to be honest. But um, yeah. So next what we're going to do is we're going to... So these are the chorus vocals here. This is what they sound like. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm going to make a pretty simple organ for this, so I'm going to click on my channel rack up here and then I'm going to click on unsorted, this will bring up my sounds here I'm just going to take all of these off here, this is for the mixer track so, it doesn't, so these just don't collide with anything really, they don't mix with anything just instead of deleting them it's just a quicker way, um, and I'm going to click here I'm going to open the M1, if you don't have the M1 and you just have an organ from your sound browser here all you need to do is just go find an organ. I'm going to go in here. There we go, there's one. All you need to do is just drag it into the channel rack there. And you can hit piano roll. And you can use the piano roll as that. If you don't want your sounds to collide with each other on this, all you need to do is right click on it. And then click cut itself. And you can see as soon as I click another note, it'll stop the other note from playing. So yeah, that's good to know. Um, so I'm just going to use the M1 plugin. If you have the M1, I'm going to go on the M1. I'm going to click browser. Make sure it's on combi mode. Um, I'm going to go on the organ. M1 house split. And then what I like to do is I like to mute that. Put this on solo and just go on here. Then go on the effects for it. And then go on oscillator for the organ bass. And just put it up to a 8 octave. Just to put it a bit higher. And then now we've got this nice organ sound. So 
So a quick argon pattern I'm going to use, um, I'm just going to select the notes in here. So if you hear this, every line is going to be a kick. So if I put the metronome on, kick, clap, kick, 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 kick. You can hear that there. So for the classic organ beat, it goes for a kick and then organ, kick and organ. You hear it in all jazzy songs, uh, Bellas Only, Evan McGee, stuff like that. So I'm just going to put it, kick on, kick, there. So it's kick. It's just that full beat like that. And then we're going to make that uh, two bars or eight bars, whatever you want to call it. So it's going to go for eight, uh, 16 now. No. It's going to go for 8, so we're going to make it another one, just so it goes for 16, as I said earlier. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There, so that's 16 bars. I'm just going to put that in here, so we're going to click on pattern. Um, this little piano icon up here is your, all your patterns that you make. I'm going to click here, and then put that in. So that vocal is obviously too loud, so I'm just going to double click it and the volume button here, yeah, I'm going to take that down to about 50% maybe, 57. So now I'm going to add a kick in, um, just a really simple beat. This is from my pack, which you can get in the link in the description below. Pack's super cheap, I've had loads of reviews on it saying it's amazing, saying they've got such good sounds. Um, it's got over 125 sounds in it for £6 or something like that, so really cheap, really good. Now I'm just going to drag our kick into here. There's two ways you can do this. You can drag your kick straight into here, but if you're not really, um, if you're not very good with FL, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to go down here and click New Pattern. And now we've got a new pattern created. I'm just going to name that Kick. And then now we can go in the channel rack up here, go on Unsolid, and this will bring a whole new um, channel rack. If I go on this pattern, it's going to be the organ, and this one is just going to be the kick. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to do the same thing I did with that other organ, I'm just going to drag it in. Make sure it's not on any of these ones. And this on the channel rack, it's called a step. Um, so if we want it every four step, it's going to be every four bars. So this is one bar here, this um, the lighter one, and the darker one's going to be a bar, lighter one's going to be a bar, darker one. So this is one bar, two bar, three bar, four bar. So I'm going to put one on the first bar, second, third, and fourth, and that's going to create that kick pattern. And then next, I'm going to, well, there is a quick way of doing this as well. Um, if you want to just right click on this, and then fill each four step, it's going to fill each four bar. So just like that. Um, if you want a faster one, fill each two step, it's going to fill two. Then there's a six. Um, uh, there's an eight where it's just going to fill um, two of them, so it's going to fill one every eight. So I'm just going to keep it filled the four bar for now. Now we've got our pattern there, you can either drag it in or you can just make sure this is selected and just click it. If you have the paint tool selected, you can just hold and drag them along. I think this organ's a bit, um, a bit high. Tear this, yeah. I'm just gonna tear this off the octave quickly. So, yeah, now we've got that kick organ pattern. Now, obviously, these are different levels of sound. Um, so, for the vocal, we're gonna put it on a mix track. This is the mixer up here, so you can control these and the mixture tracks control all the volumes. So, I'm gonna double click. Excuse me, I'm going to double click on the vocal and then I'm just going to click track up here. This will automatically assign it to a mixed track, so when I play the track now, and I can change the volume of it. This is where you're going to add all your effects as well, which I'll come into in a second. Uh, and then the organ, obviously, you can't double click on this one because it'll just take you to the piano roll. So I'm going to make sure I'm on back on the pattern one. 
I'm gonna name, rename that quickly. If you wanna rename it, just right click it, rename color. I'm gonna name that the organ. And then back in my channel rack, the M1 up here, I'm also gonna rename this, so right click in it, uh, rename. I'm just gonna rename it M1 organ. And then I'm gonna click on it. And if you're on a plugin, what you wanna do is click this little detailed settings button up here, and then it'll bring up this where you can go on the track. And that'll bring that organ into the mixer. And just the same with the kicks. So make sure this is selected. Go on to the channel rack. Go on the kicks. This will automatically um, be on it. This one it'll be a little. There won't, there won't be a detailed settings um, thing here. I get your words out. Gonna go on track. So the first thing I like to do is make sure all my levels are the same. So I'm just gonna on here these little like bars here shows how high how much volume it's going do you know what i mean if i do this obviously this one isn't the same I need it a bit higher there so they're all pretty much the same um so next one i'm going to do what i like to do is add some effects to my organ so I've got this organ effect, if I just select the organ one, go to the mixer, make sure pattern selected. Also up here, pattern will only select, the pattern will only make you hear uh, these patterns here. Song will make you hear the full thing. So if I play this, I'm just gonna play that organ pattern because it's highlighted. If I click the song, it's gonna play all of it. That's good to know as well. Um, these little things over here, uh, mute buttons so if i want to hear the song but hear it without the kicks i just unselect that i want to hear the kicks again that's also good to know um so yeah back onto the mixing i'm gonna go back on pattern so I'm going to use stock FL effects, usually I'd use Valhalla uh, Reverb, but for the sake of this video I'm just going to use a Fruity Reverb, Fruity Reverb is such a good plugin though. Um, I'm just going to turn the dryness up a little bit, wetness up a little bit, decay time, up, delay, just down a little bit. pretty self-explanatory really so if you want to delay where the echo is going to come if you want to delay you turn the delay tab up and um, if you want a decay time so how long the echo goes on for you turn the decay time up and um, bass multiplier is whether you want the echo to be bassy or not and um, dry is obviously the dry level wet's the wet level so yeah that's about it for the fruity reverb you need to know really um, you can have a change it to a mid or a side input, I'll change the separation to left or right. Um, so if I turn it all the way left, it's going to put the echo on the left speaker. And if I turn it all the way to the right, it's going to put it on the right speaker. Just put it in the middle. Puts it on both. Um, that's what if the reverb, I think. Yeah, I might add. Nah, I'm not going to add delay. We'll just keep it simple. It's going higher. I think with that, it's a bit too wet. So we're just going to go kind of the reverb, turn it down. Also, I want the kick to have more punch, so a little trick I do is to go into the channel and rack thing. I'm going to click on the kick, and then over here I'm going to click this little effects target for pre-computed effects. And then here is the boost, so you can hear the kick now, turn the boost up, just makes it way fatter. And I'm also going to put a reverb on it, just a little tiny bit. No, I'm not. Um, I'm going to put a reverb on it in here, but it's going to be like the tiniest little reverb ever. 
So it's turning that down. I literally like f nothing. Also over here, this little thing, you can turn it up or down for different patterns. That sounds pretty good. I just realized that's a G minor. We've put it in a G uh, something. That's in the completely wrong key. So G minor. Also up here, you can right click this snap to scale button and then choose what root note you want it in. So you want it in G minor, so G's there. Um, so see I've got that on F sharp I'm just going to tear that up and you can hold shift and then up key or you can actually just drag it yeah that sounds better already So that sounds pretty good already. I'm just gonna go on uh, the mixer and I'm gonna add some effects to this vocal. So I'm gonna add a reverb. Just to call some of them uh, low frequencies. If you're new to producing, you probably won't hear them low frequencies as well. Um, but the EQ here just shows you them. Sometimes you don't want to remove the low frequencies, like basses, you never want to remove the low frequencies, really. Um, so that's what makes the bass, really. So I think the low frequencies is more the bass side, mid frequencies is more like the drums side, like the little ambience and stuff like that, and the high frequencies is... Like, so if I turn the high frequency, it's hard to, like a filter, I don't know. Now you've got a, a thing there. You've got a little chorus there. Up here, you can see when I play the track. Just up here. You can see it's going red a little bit. That means when you play this on speakers, car speakers, you're going to hear a lot of rumbling and bad sounds. All you need to do is sort that out. It's just turn the main volume down. Acts as like a little compressor um, with FL Studio. So I'll make a little riser. So we're just going to highlight all this by holding Control, left mouse clicking and dragging over it. And then you can use the shift button and the arrow keys to na navigate it around. But I'm just going to drag it. So I'm just going to drag it over there. So this is uh, eight bars here. This is an eight bar thing. It's about 30 seconds, so to check, you're just going to right click, hold right click on here, drag it over there, and then, I was wrong, 16 bars is 32 seconds, 8 bars is 16 seconds, so let's put that over there, yeah, it's around 16 seconds, so I think it's double, um, yeah, so 4 bars, it's going to be around 2 seconds, so it just halves it. So a bar, no, a second is half a bar. <laughs> you wouldn't understand it. I don't really understand it to be fair. I just know it in my brain. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, so yeah, a little riser. I'm just gonna use these little vocals. You didn't think I'd be here waiting up all night, uh, uh, all night. Take that little thing off the end there because I don't like them ending vocals. You didn't think I'd be here waiting. I... There, um, 
it is. It will take us back actually a little bit. You didn't think I'd be here waiting up all night, uh, uh, all night. Uh, uh, uh. There, yeah, so that's sounding good. I'm just gonna put that back over. You did, uh, all night, uh, uh, uh. There, so a little effect I like to do with the kick um, on here is I'm just gonna put the kick in there and I'm gonna left click it up here and I'm gonna make it unique. I'll make it unique anyway, yeah. I'm gonna rename it Reverse Kick. And I'm gonna double click it and click reverse. This will create that effect that you hear in many, many like. So it creates that sub like rise, if you know what I mean. There, so I'm gonna make my kicks like how I normally do it. So I'm just going to put them on every little bar here. So I'm going to take this down, hold Alt, and drag it. And I'm just going to put it on every bar. Just like that. There. I haven't really used the best kick for this. I think a little ending on it. I could tear that ending off actually just by holding Alt, left clicking. Maybe that'll work. All night. Yeah, yeah, that works. All night. Yeah. Let's extend that again. So you make that little effect. Uh, and then I'm going to add a riser. Riser. Four, no. Riser one will do. Nah. Riser two. It's just all about knowing your sounds, really. Um, and I'm just gonna now I'll use Riser 6, Riser 5, even. Take this over again, just over there. And we're gonna end this on, with one bar left. So I'm just gonna end it right on the end. You see, some risers they'll go out, so you're just gonna put it where it starts to go, go down. So if I use this tool up here and just increase the waveforms so I can see the waveforms. There, I'm just gonna oh, fuck off ringing me. Take it out to the point where it stops going down there, and I'm just gonna drag it over. And I can reduce the waveforms again. You didn't think I'd be here way all night. All night. Increase the volume of them. All night. Adjustables back up on them, uh, and then I'm going to use a snare roll. I'm just going to go out to my sounds again, find a snare roll. Uh, so this one, this is already 125 ppm, so I don't have to worry about it. And I'm just going to chop it on that, just like that. Clap at the end of that as well. We we'll use that one and then we we'll use this one. Cheese. Just select them, hold shift, left click, drag it out, and duplicate that. Now 
that's how you create the simple jazzy beat thing. So yeah, that's literally it for the video. Um, if you do want a part two of this, if the video gets some love, I'll do it. Um, make sure you hit the scratch subscribe button if you haven't already. Go buy my drum kit, there's a link in the description. I'll give you a free code. Use code YouTube10 for a 10% discount, there you go. Um, so yeah, link in bio, link in description, first link in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.